I is for insert keyframe. Back in the 1930s, animators had to hand draw and hand color every animation frame. A 90 minute film would have 162,000 frames. It was quite a job. Blender and other animation programs make the process easier with keyframes. Animators can set up keyframes wherever they want and let the computer draw all the frames in between the two keyframes. Anything that can be changed can be animated with keyframes. That includes the size, shape, position, color, rotation, and a hundred other things. Let's animate this cube moving from where it begins down to plus five on the x-axis and then back. If we have two seconds of animation, we're going to need 60 frames. They'll be numbered from 1 to 61. Since we're going to start here, this is where we need our first frame. And the name of this is I for insert. So we're going to insert. And I like to use location, rotation, scale, even though I'm only changing one thing. As soon as we created a keyframe, the name of this object, which is cube, change to yellow. So also, because we're coming back to this location, let's insert a keyframe at 61. Well, now that we're on 31, let's do our typical G, X, 5, return. Let's insert our keyframe. Let's go back to keyframe number one, down arrow three times, and now let's do right arrow and just hold it down and watch to see if our animation works the way we think it should. You might also like to know that there's a timeline window. I is for insert keyframe.